kuipeleka kwa lazima. Karibu sana bena moto moto. Sasa unasikia? Kwenye harakati zangu sasa let me be serious. <coughs> Kwenye harakati zangu I think it was on uh, 208 hapo tu. Can't remember very well. Unawaambia kwa sababu ya kuonjeka sana kichwa, nilikuwa <laughs> nimepoteza picha. Sasa picha huwa inakuja every time as I heal. Let me tell you something. Na kuna siku nitaleta hiyo program. Mtu anasikia ku confess, nimweke life a confess. Let me tell you. Every time you confess, every time you give a testimony of what you did you heal huo mtu anapona na level nyingine ya juu sana kwa sababu mimi kutoka december when i started for giving people who played part in my life to destroy my life nilianza december starting from my family niliwaketisha wote nikawaomba msamaha na nikawaambia nimewasamehe because everybody had disowned me completely so kutoka wakati huo I started telling everybody my past and how far and how good God has taken me. Na ndio nilianza ku heal. That's why you look, you see me looking smile all the time. I look good, I look beautiful. Kwa sababu nilikubali kuambia watu. Hmm? Naona kama ni internet yako nafikiri. Ama hamunipati. Can somebody tell me? Oh thank you so much Wilfred. Leo Wilfred nataka kufundisha. Kuna siku uliweka request ukaniambia unataka niwafundishe kuhusu covenant. Sasa leo ndio nimekuja nayo. And may God bless you kukubali kukuja <coughs> wakati niko na topic kwa sababu sita irudia. Wakati katika harakati za okay I was saying kwenye ku, ku confess imenifanya nime heal. Mi nilikuwa sicheki. Mnaona vile wanacheka, huwa na smile just from nowhere. I'm just so happy all the time. Mi nilikuwa sicheki. My next word from Nyaje Cox was next word. Either nikutukane ama nikwambie kitu moja very huge. Utacheka but ni wazimu tu imeniachilia. Si mimi. Karibu sana mwalimu kama huu. So kwenye mwaka miaka hiyo tu ya mateso nafikiri 208 kwa sababu hapo ndio hiyo kitu ilitokea nikiwa kwa my sister wa pili sasa me have two sisters And kuna yule aliye ni host nilipoacha bwana na kuna huyu aliye ni host wakati nilikuwa tb so nikiwa kwa huyu wakuni wakuni host tb nilipendana na jamaa mmoja muluya na kama unani watch just forgive me haikukuwa mimi was somebody else huyo jamaa tukakuwa na relationship na yeye miezi sita na katika yeye miezi sita mimi nilikuwa nimechoka kukaa kwa my sister already kwa sababu nilikuwa ni sheria ya daktari kuwa ni hame kwangu likoni niende kwa my sister ukunda kwa sababu nakunywa dawa za TB na nilikuwa naenda clinic hapo uh, kuna ka dispensary inaitwa Diani So daktari akasema nisikae mbali. Tusa tupo piga mahesabu na maisisa akaniambia kazi yenye mimi nafanya niende nikakae tu kwake. Kwa sababu sasa nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya kupeleka magari inspection. Thank you so much Devin. Nilikuwa napeleka magari inspection militini. So sio kazi ya daily. So my sister insisted niende nikakae kwake. Sasa nikaenda kwake and uh, nyumba yangu bado iko baki likoni nikadeti huyu jamaa wakati nilipata nafuu nilipata kazi ya security sasa huyu jamaa alikuwa anafanya hiyo ofisi ya security in fact alikuwa manager kijana tu mzuri and uh, akanipenda na nikampenda so katika deti yetu ya miezi sita mimi nikawa nimechoka kukaa kwa my sister mnajua ile kikuyu inasema mwika na niyo ni mwenye nalano So mimi nikawa nime nimesinywa kukaa kwa my sister. But this guy hakukuwa ready kuoa. Lakini mimi ninataka tuoane. Ndio nataka kuambia pia ukijikuta kwa situation kama hiyo utapata shida sana. So this guy mimi nataka tuoane. 
ndio nitoke huku kwa my sister na nimekosa any one way ya kunitoa huku kwa sababu sasa siwezi kumwambia narudi kule kwangu likoni kwa sababu ataniuliza naenda kufanya nini na huku nafanya kazi hii ya security sasa unfortunately akafutwa akafutwa kazi alipofutwa kazi akaenda tao akapata kazi nyingine huko alipopata kazi akakodisha nyumba tu hapo likoni so si mimi nikajua mambo ya meiva tukapanga tukapanga akakuja na sasa na mimi contract huku ikakata pia nikakuwa sina kazi nafanya kwa my sister tukapanga nikafungua kibanda kibanda ya, ya serious nikiuzauza serious hapo na makaa vitu kama hizo finally tukapanga na jamaa kabisa akuja nichukue kwa my sister this man ananipenda na muelewe sasa hii sentence vizuri huo mwanaume alikuwa ananipenda sana but yeye hakuwa ame prepare kuoana as i was pushing it yes amenipenda na kabisa anataka tuoane in fact kuna brother yake mmoja ali, ali ako, alikuwa presidential escort wa nani wa kibake because i remember ni mimi nilimtumia pesa za ku bribe ndio apate hiyo chance so the family had known me so <laughs> nikapush mwanaume na akaingia sasa ile kitu ilimfanya aingie ananipenda lakini kwa sababu ye hakuwa ready kuoa amekubali kwa sababu ni proposal yangu mimi tuoane let me tell you hakuna marriage ngumu kama hiyo hii dunia when a lady she is the one who is proposing the marriage the man loves you very much but hayuko tayari kuoana but you are pushing yes mtaona hata kama ni miaka 4 inakuja but you are pushing it unataka iende haraka haraka kwa sababu ya reasons zako mwenyewe these guys huwa wako na shida noa kama ito karibu sana huwa kuna kitu kimoja kiko ndani ya mwanaume naruka kwanza lakini covenant iko hapa hapa kwa ukijana gozeni <laughs> sasa hao watu kuna kitu kimoja Mungu aliweka ndani ya mtu mwanaume si mwanaume kila mtu <tos> hii kitu unaona Mungu aliumba mwanamume na wakiwa na malaika zake mbinguni wakasema tuumbe mtu wa kufanana na sisi so zile vitu Mungu hupenda kitu kama kusifiwa huwa hizo ni hizo ni vitu za mwanaume na ni nacho Mungu alimuumba nazo kwa sababu Mungu hutaka kuabudiwa kusifiwa kuheshimiwa wachana na hizi zingine dhambi za wanadamu hayo mambo matatu ni ya Mungu na hayo mambo matatu aliweka ndani ya mwanaume sasa wakati mimi ni reforce na kubembelezwa Mungu huwa anapenda kubembelezwa kama mjaijua <laughs> Mungu hupenda kubembelezwa sana umunyenyeke umbembeleze umusifu umwabudu hizo zote huwa ni za Mungu sasa hiyo kitu huwa iko ndani ya mwanadamu lakini sasa kile ilivanya ikija kwa mwanadamu haikuja ikiwa piwa kwa sababu mwanadamu aliingia duniani through the sin na hiyo huwa nawaambia ni tafakari yangu kwa hivyo kama kuna mtu wa theology asije kuni challenge hizo ni tafakari zangu <laughs> lakini hizo vitu ziko ndani ya mwanadamu wa kiume so si nimeilazimisha hana shida ananipenda sana karibu sana <laughs> ananipenda sana nimeilazimisha na akakuja kwa my sister in fact officially akanichukua na tukaenda si tumeoana tumeanza kukalitana huyu mwanaume wa sampuli hiyo huwa ako na shida kwa sababu ni interest yako kubwa kwenye hii hii marriage sio kwenye relationship kwenye marriage interest yako ni nyingi sana atakuwa anafanya mavitu umbembeleze 
<laughs> Anaweza kwa matupu wa kitu hivyo umbembeleze. Karibu sana Jordan. Ndiyo umbembeleze. Na wanashida sana na huwa wanasema. Huwa wanaambia watu kabisa. Ati ndiyali nikatia. Ndiyali insist on this marriage. Na sasa hile kitu hata mkiongea utakuta anasema. Lakini ndiwe uli false. Ndiwe uli, uli pereka haraka haraka. Sasa hiyo unaona mambo ya la dire. Na naturally mimi si kuumbwa wale watu wa mambo ya dire. Mimi mambo yangu haina dire. Mimi ni kitu nafanya nafanya. Uwa ni, ni, ni mezariwa hivyo. So, me I would like na insist vitu zingine. Alafu yae ako slow. Nikiwa hivyo kichwa yangu ina blow. Na unajua shida yangu. Sasa kwa sababu ameenda, amekodisha room. Mimi nilibeba vitu zangu pia. Nikapeleka. So we mixed. Ile nyumba ikakua iko shojo. Lakini sasa, hii nyumba iko shojo, <laughs> nimesema mtu wa theology as in challenge, mimi, sijaleta bibiria hapa, mini wambia uwa naleta akili zangu. <laughs> so, mimi, nikaona uyu mwanaume, nikama haviendi haviendi, lakini nikama vinaenda, pia manake ananipenda sana, lakini sasa unakuta position yangu, ni kama ame relax si ni mimi nilirazimisha mali i think you can understand ni mimi niliharakisha kwa hivyo yeye ana relax sasa mimi nikaona hii kitu ni kama iende iende so akani akanipeleka kanisa ya catholic nilipopigia baba simu mimi nimesi niliwaambia msingi wangu nilipopigia baba simu kwa sababu aliniambia na muende muokoke hivyo ndivyo dadi alisema So mimi nikaambia dadi alisema tuokoke ndio at least sasa hii unit yetu ibarikiwe. So akaniambia yeye ni mkatoliki. And uh, sikupingana na hiyo. Tukaenda tukaenda kanisa ya Katoliki. Sasa mimi sijui taratibu za Katoliki kwa sababu kutoka nizaliwa sijaienda huko mimi nimezaliwa ni mkulino haya. Tulipotoka hapo nikapigia dadi simu nikamwambia yeye alisema awezi toka Katoliki tushiriki huko and daddy said oh karibu sana niki rotich nikamwambia ni daddy yeye alisema aitoka catholic daddy akaniambia sasa wewe unataka ku ni kama mtu ametoka secondary akarudi roho class mimi nimekufu nimekulea na jia protestant alafu sasa unarudi kwa dini wale watu wale watu muko kwenye protestant mnajua vile huwa wanasema watu wa protestant na catholic different yao ni kwa sababu wa catholic ni watu wa dini ni watu wa taratibu zao na hao wengine ni watu wa kiroho that is so mimi sikupenda i didn't love it so nikamwambia i would like to join kanisa ingine pale feri ile inaitwa sanctuary of praise ile ya pastor taura Hakushindana. Kaniambia sawa. Nikiwa pale sasa kwa kanisa, sasa tume divide yeye ataenda ka Catholic na mimi naenda sanctuary. Mimi nikiwa pale kwa kanisa. Nikakuta si kuombewa niokoke. Kwa hivyo hapo msipoteze njia. Nime nime join kanisa ya sanctuary na nikaingia kwa record ya kitabu ya wageni na nimeanza kuwa mshirika wao. Sandi kama ya pili kulikuwa kuna hubiri hubiri moja anaitwa Musa na wakati alikuwa na hubiri alisema it was on december i remember akasema mtu aandike ile kitu anataka Mungu amfanyie 2010 20 20 no 209 i mean sasa mimi nikaandika for real kwenye nilikuwa nilikuwa gatu na kanoti kanoti book kadogo ka hard cover miss jakozala hiyo ka hard cover na kalamu nikienda church na biblia so mimi nikaandika tu kwenye kale ka kitabu vizuri nikasema anataka mtoto wa kivulana na anataka financial breakthrough and total healing hizo ndio vitu mimi niliandika na nikaweka sasa mimi nikafanya makosa Because alikuwa ametuambia that, that is a step of faith eh? uandike and we believed that the whole church na watu wakaombewa mimi nikafanya makosa nikasema 
na Mungu ukinipa mtoto mwenye hata gonjeka kama huyu wa kwanza kwa sababu wa kwanza niliteseka odhuru so i had to say wewe Mungu ukinipa mtoto mwenye hata gonjeka nitakufanyia kitu fulani kwa madhabahu nilisema hivyo na sikufikiria ati ninadhiri nimeweka ndugu zanguni Mungu acherewi mwaka huo wa 2009 hata jana walikufika tukaa jana na uja <laughs> hata jana walia kufika madhogodhani zikatokea madhogodhani hapo pukuru 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 mimi huyo pop nikatoka nikarudi kwenye ni wana hii ilikuwa ni ndaza nikaenda kwa nyumba nyingine na tukaachana hivyo in peace akakuwa na vita kila mtu akaenda njia zake makosa tu zilitokea hapo mdogo mdogo i think kuna mahali nimeongea hiyo story about my daughter na yeye akupenda tu mtoto wangu kwa sababu nilikuwa nimekuja na yeye na sikupenda tu sikupenda kabisa mtu ajaribu ku kuongea anything against my daughter kwa sababu my daughter had a problem of head niliwaambiaga kuna video moja nimeelezea so niliona ako na, na kitu so i'm like oh, kama uwezani na mtoto there's no need of tuendeleza idea hapa tumefika miezi mbili sijui na nusu nilipotoka nikarudi kule sasa kule kwangu niporudi kwangu sponyo wangu <laughs> Aja ni aja, sponyo wako ni aja. Wanaambia huyo mzee alikuwa ni either mau mauchawi ama zilikuwa ni plani za God, I don't know. Hakuwa ameniwacha. So when I went back, bado wakarudi kwa life yangu. Let me tell you. Mimi nilijuana na sponyo 207. Na sikuwa nimetumia family planning kwa sababu mimi mwili wangu likataa family planning all through. Lakini sikuwa i conceive lakini that time after the prayers now nilikuja nika conceive na wakati ni conceive sikujua pia ni ya nani kwa sababu hata huyu jamaa tulipoachana nilipata boyfriend mwingine wewe <laughs> naambia inaitwa confession na okay, confess unapona nilipata boyfriend mwingine so nikawa na huyu boyfriend na 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 sponyo sasa sikujua mtoto ni wa nani karo matsako karibu sikujua mtoto ni wa nani lakini let me tell you covenant is a covenant mungu huwa hataki kujua we una ni nini unataka we uliambia mungu unataka kuwa manager eh wewe usizeme company yenye unaenda we sema unataka kuwa manager wacha yeye achague company yenye anakupeleka kwa sababu pengine ile company wewe umeona ndio unataka kuwa manager huko hakuna nafasi yako bro. Wewe kama umeweka nadhiri na Mungu wewe kaaga ukijua ile kitu umeitisha itakuja. It doesn't care inapita wapi. Let me tell you. Mwezi matini ngure karibu. Mwezi ule nilikonceive sasa na nikaendelea nikazaa nilizaa mwezi wa 2010 sasa 2010 kwa hivyo the 209 niliomba Mungu anipatie mtoto wa kivulana ndio niliconceive na, na 2010 mwezi wa tatu nikazaa mtoto wa kivulana let me tell you guys god gave me a baby oh god my son was a real miracle mpaka boma mzima siku ile nilienda mamangu aliniambia mtoto kama huyu kwenye hii familia nzima alikuwa ni my brother mmoja yuko Nairobi kwa Nairobi alipozaliwa alikuwa hivyo nilizaa mtoto anakaa kama kiarabu kiarabu kinono keupe kizuri watu waliishi kusema mtoto si wangu a very sweet boy mpaka nikawa namuita gold karibu sana Clara Eh, obere mpaka ni, nikawa namuita gold kitoto kizuri let me tell you guys don't joke with covenant hiyo ni covenant inanifanyia hivi si nilipromise Mungu Mungu anajua kutimiza sasa si nimesahau si nimeona gold hapa kile kitoto nilipokipeleka nyumbani mama akakiombea 
aka sasa mimi ni akaniuliza anaitwa nani mtoto wangu nilimnem nilimuita Mark kwa sababu wakati nilikuwa na mimba sikuwa naenda kanisa but I, I loved the deliverance bishop Mark Karioki ilikuwa nikiwatch ile program yake kwa KBC mtoto wangu anaruka sana akiwa kwa tumbo in the morning so I said if I give birth a baby boy nitamuita Mark so nilipo kipeleka nyumbani nikawa nakiita Mark Gold mamangu akaniambia kwenye taratibu za dunia hii mtu haoni vitu zake mtu haoni vitu zake ni waonye mtu haoni vitu zake usiwaize kitu chako ni kizuri watu ndio wanafaa kukwambia kitu chako ni kizuri so mimi mamangu akaniputo akaniambia usiite mtoto gold kawa abu akopi kopi karibu nilikuwa namuita gold because to me it was real gold sijaona kitu kama hicho kwa life yangu hata kwa dream kitu toki kwa alafu kikainuka hakiku gonjeka hata pali kiko pa 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 pa, pa miezi kumi hicho kinatembea nilipohamia pali na huku malindi watu wananiambia huyu mtoto kukitafutwa mtoto wa kuibiwa mama utashikwa mtoto hafanani na wewe kabisa anakaa nimeiba guys siku ya covenant na Mungu ikafika si mimi nasherekea mtoto kwani hata ninakumbuka kuna kitu niliahidi Mungu. Mimi nasherekea na kibeba huko kote watu wote wakikiangalia vile ni kizuri kina migomo minono minono kizuri god. He! Wacha mtoto aligonga mwaka mmoja tap. Hata ilikuwa ijamaliza mwezi. Juu mwaka mzima hivi nasherekea mtoto mzuri kama nini munono wa kilo nyingi. Mtoto alitoboka miguu hiyo miguu yake minono hivyo yote ilitoboka tu wakati moja ati pa 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 vidonda nikaanza mbio hapo nikaambiwa wewe matumbe Nika, nikaambiwa huyu hata matumbe akulagi matumbe keki zote tukawaacha nikapewa makirimu nipa kehaviendi sasa imeanza kuhama miguu ikipandilia kwa mapaja ina na ni kitu kama infection inatambaa nikampelekea ma pediatrician mimi mtoto haski sasa ilipo ilipozidi ikaja sasa kamasi unajua kama lingine munono huwa linatokaka mtoto wako sasa ni kinono vile vile lakini kika, ni kama kiliingia baridi yani kinakaa fani fani watu wakaniambia huyu mtoto amepigwa macho huyu mtoto ni mzuri sana amepigwa macho azini watu wame wamemroga na mdomo ai hiyo haikuniingia kwa sababu huyu mtoto is a blessing to me i would feel kabisa is a blessing let me tell you one day nikiwa nimeketi hivi nilisikia tu kichwa changu kimekumbuka huwa sasa kusema ni Mungu aliniongelesha kwa sababu hata kama ni Mungu aliniongelesha si ati nilisikia sauti na hapo a a nilisikia kichwa changu imekumbushwa you had a covenant na huyu mtoto na vile nilivyoinuka kutoka chini kulelewa na baba yangu na wazazi wangu nilijua kwamba nadhiri ukiweka nadhiri na Mungu ukikosa kuitimiza huwa anaku anakumaliza anamaliza what he has given you through the covenant huwa anai anaimaliza so hiyo ilikuja na ika confirm Do you know how much I had given for covenant? Besa hiyo limo hata kama ni leo naweza ipiga kama mara nne. Nilikuwa nimepeana, yani nimeahidi tu pesa. And you know by that time hata dhao ilikuwa ni pesa mingi. So mimi nilikuwa nimepromise 2k, just 2k. But I could not make it. Kwa sababu ile time wewe wewe unaweka nadhiri hivi shetani wako hapa. Ukimaliza ngitamuka tu bas ana make sure how to make 2k siongelei 20000 ya 20000 nitakuja kuambia vile ili nitesa bia <laughs> so hakili ilipokumbuka let me tell you nilipigia jamaa mmoja best yangu nikamwambia oya sio ni okolea na ngiri tano akaniambia mimi sina ngiri tano so hai niko na mbili nikamwambia nitumie akantumia sasa akili imekumbuka 
na alafu nikashikwa sasa na kiwasiwasi ndani yangu kama ni kweli ni hiyo then mtoto wangu atakufa hii gold yangu roho inanienda wewe mamangu ameomba anafanya fasting every time because you, she's like every day okay rahana tia akoje akoje yani mamishi so concerned manake huyu mtoto ndio mtoto wangu mzuri yule wa kwanza alikuwa na mashida kila pahali mimi nilipopata zile 2000 nikaeka kwa bahasha vizuri sana. Huyo mimi mpaka sanctuary of praise. Natafuta pastor Taura. Manake sasa when you give a covenant because of the altar. Huwa ni ya ni ya altar. Na if I give covenant to a person individually, nitapea mtu fulani. Huwa ni ya mtu sasa huyo ndio natafuta. But this one I had given for the altar. Na kwa sababu nilifanyia hiyo maombi Nili, na, na, na nadhiri yangu nilifanyia kwa ile kanisa i could not give it out to any other church mimi kufika hivi nilifika saa sita mchana akili zangu aliziniambia taura anaishi pale kanisani haku anaishi hapo alikuwa kwake si huko yani so nilipofika nilikuwa nafika hiyo masaa saa sita saa sita ndio nijue kama pengine kuko na lunch hour service Sayo, don't forget after the prayers tukacha na ule jamaa misi kurudi church kabisa. So hakuna kitu ya church mimi najua. A whole year plus. Hata ni miaka mbili kwa sababu mwaka ya mimba yote si kwenda na mwaka ingine ya mtoto yote sijai kanyaga huko. Mimi kufika nikauliza namba ya pastor Taura. Namba ya pastor Taura in fact niliuliza pastor Taura yuko wapi? Nilikuta waalimu pale kuna kakida garden. Akaniambia Pastor Taura aliaga kanisa Jumapili that today it was on Wednesday. Today atakuwa um, atakuwa Nairobi kwa sababu ana fly anaenda America. Sijui ni America ama lakini kitu kama US aliniambia hivyo ni America. Ndugu zangu nikamwambia can I get his number? Kwa sababu sasa mimi ninasikia kabisa Hizi hii hii pesa kwa sababu ni ya madhabahu. Ikiwa iko na, na na huyu kiongozi nimeifikisha kwa madhabahu kwa sababu kama ni madhabahu huwezi enda wakawekelea kwa madhabahu bahasha. So because he is the leader of the church, nikimpatia mimi imeniondokea. Sasa mimi kwa sababu nimemkosa, nataka nipewe namba. Ni mtumie na Mpesa. Nilipopewa namba kuna Mungu mbinguni. <laughs> 